Why hello there, welcome back to my channel. It is of course Chelsea of She Designs Things. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you the latest new feature from Google Sites. So of course, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so this is a wireframe SDT1886. I was actually using this for another video that is in the works that I'm creating. Yes, I am still creating videos. It's just taking me some time to be able to finish editing them and uploading them, you know, being that I am fully employed, you know, um, with myself. I am self-employed <laughs> and I do have clients that I have to, you know, handle and juggle so at times I post a little sporadically a little bit sorry about that but I digress let's go ahead and talk about this new feature so right off the bat across the top you see I have this ruler sort of thing right across here it's not really a ruler if you pay close attention to it it's actually your grid um, this is going to show you your columns and then the spacing in between the columns automatically it's going to be set to its default setting now if you wanted to change the way your google site appears say you like that um expansive width to your site in order to do that you do have to have a custom theme so if you haven't created a custom theme i highly recommend doing that first so let's just go ahead and jump into the custom theme i'm going to click edit once i go to edit it's located in spacing you do have your regular density which is going to control you know the density in between the elements on the page so i'm going to set that for me back to compact because that's what i prefer and then you have your site width site width is how we change that look that you all seem to hate so much about google sites from not being able to span from one corner to the next so here is what this site looks like in its default view everything is centered dead center in the middle because again it is just you know a regular 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 <laughs> style google site so now if i were to set this to wide it's going to get a little bit bigger but nothing major so just take a look nothing too crazy right it almost looks like i didn't make too much of a change but the subtlety is there it is it has actually changed the width of the site but now let's go ahead and take a look at the full width that is where you're going to see the biggest change so let's see and there you have it that's the full width and now <laughs> now I don't want to hear nothing about I want to see my site go from side to side yes it's now a feature that you can have and it doesn't change anything about the way your site functions on say a mobile device it still functions exactly the same way as it did before um, so if that's what you're concerned about sorry I mean there's nothing I can change there but how it looks on a desktop if you wanted it to span from corner to corner because that's the aesthetic you want to have that's what it'll look like I will say this um, here is another example of what it will look like I think this style works best for it um so i am looking at like this groovy portfolio and just give me a sec for it to load so again groovy portfolio this is what the groovy portfolio looks like um when you haven't made any changes or adjustments to it at all <laughs> so we can see like the bars are located along the side over here and this design was designed is created specifically to be centered so if i wanted it to go from end to end i'm going to switch it over to full and the themes this is what it will look like so it's quite expansive it does separate out everything um, it does make the images over here much larger so i would want to reduce those make them a smaller um, same for in here and here um, same for over there this is an embed so that kind of works out, but it does overlap in the grid. So these are things you have to be careful about with this new feature, just like the overlapping. Um, so for someone like me, like you would have to design with the intention of, full intention of having that style. And let's just see what it looks like on a phone. Yeah, same style. Not really much has changed. Actually, let's see something here. Pay close attention to this top bar here. I'm going to change it from full to default. And then I'm going to switch it back. Okay, cool. 
nothing's changed. I was just making sure because like it just seems a little bit more faded than I had before. But that's it. That is the latest feature from Google with your Google Sites. Please leave a comment down below letting me know if you like this new feature. I know a lot of you have been super excited about having this I call them like Squarespace style, which is, you know, from end to end. But if this is the style that you was waiting for and super excited about, you know, hey, this is now it. However, it just does not change. Um, it doesn't actually change anything when it comes to like adding things to your page. When you add things to your Google site, it's still very much a column system. That's why you don't see like this um, bar here also located down the side which i hope eventually that that does happen but for now you know we take these little wins <laughs> all right thanks again so much for watching and of course see ya